During our lecture, we talked about ethics and fashion. So we were looking specifically at the manufacturing side. We started by looking at the fabrics and how you could get different types of um, processes in order to manufacture fabrics and before it goes into the, um, the factories. We then looked at how the fabrics then went into the factories. We looked at ethical and unethical manufacture, so that might be looking at sweatshops and what constitutes as that. Now, we earn £6.50 per hour in Britain. Um, I mean, a lot of my friends will complain about earning £6.50 an hour, but when we look at the factory workers over in other countries, they earn 10 p an hour, and they're doing a repetitive thing over and over again, like sewing one side seam or one zip for literally every single day for 19 hours, and they don't get weekends. We then went on to talk about companies that were specifically ethical and that inspired us and that the whole industry wasn't completely doom and gloom. Um, so we were looking at Pants for Poverty in particular and we spoke about how they wanted to rid the world of bad pants as their slogan um, and how that really we should be conscious about uh, how we're buying clothes and where we're getting it from. The, the excitement for the day, I think, built, built towards the end because I think they became more and more involved in the ideas that they'd come up in their shirts. I think the visualisation side of it was great because it brought out the ideas that they were most interested in. And then from that, when we were talking about the presentation and where we wanted to, um, what we wanted to say to the rest of the group and to the discussion sessions, the students really brought ideas out to do with the circular economy and um, things like planned obsolescence, where shirts, the shirts they were using were made to break after a certain amount of time, which they found quite interesting. So there were specific points that they sort of picked up throughout the day that they brought through and then wanted to talk a little bit more, which was really interesting. It was, and the visualisation of it from their minds to the shirts was so fascinating to see the link between them. Um, I think the students learnt quite a lot during the day, but especially within regards to the ethics of fashion. I think it exposed ideas that they had never really come across, especially to do with um, sort of the manufacturing side and where their shirts had possibly been. And I think that the idea that these shirts had been in Bangladesh, which is where the, the specific ones we were working with had come from, struck them. They, they didn't really appreciate how far they'd come and what the shirts had gone through in order to be produced. And even the cotton manufacturer and things like that we spoke about how it takes 27, uh, 2,700 litres of water to produce one shirt and it just sort of surprised them. I think it was the whole aspect of the linkage of science and fashion that, that came out in lots of different avenues that the students found really inspiring.